The Google IT Support Professional Certification. It's a mouthful, but will this mouthful help you get a job? That's what we're talking about in today's video. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. Here we help you guys who are out there trying to get into the IT field by answering your questions. And this is one of them that I've received for the past couple of years now, and I've taken my time. And as you guys know, I've stated many times, I'm gonna prepare a video on this, I wanna talk about it, but I need to get the information first. I need to have some facts that I can provide. This certification came out a couple years ago now, and what I can tell you about it is mostly things that you're not gonna wanna hear. But let me start off by saying, I am a huge supporter of Google. I am what you would call a Google fanboy, and I have been for years upon years at this point. I have used Google services for its entirety, for its lifetime, it seems, at this point. And I've loved everything that Google has done. They have done a phenomenal job with many of the services and support and just, things that they've built, provided, and developed through the years. I'm a huge fan of pretty much all of it, except for this. I cannot get behind the Google IT Support Professional Certification. Now, I commend Google for trying. They definitely tried. And if you don't know, the Google IT Support Professional Certification is geared towards entry level is definitely a very entry-level certification. This could be comparable to something like CompTIA's uh, Fundamentals or even the CompTIA a certification. If It's on that kind of ground level right there. Here's what's really important about this. If you go out on Google and you search for the Google IT Support Certification jobs, you're not really going to find any job out there that is specifically asking for this certification. And that's why I took so long to make this video because I wanted to give it time. I wanted to see how the industry reacted to the certification and the industry didn't react at all. What I should tell you is any certification, any degree that you get is always going to be helpful for you. It's always going to be good to have on your resume. No matter what that certification or degree is, it's something that checks a box. It's something that says, okay, well, they know something. If you go out and look for this on Indeed, you're gonna find jobs looking for, you know, Google Suite. You're better off getting like a Google Suite admin type of certification or even a Google Cloud Platform certification because those are the only things that people are looking for that are related to Google and any type of IT support. So there's that. So at the end of the day, will the Google IT support certification help you get a job? Potentially. I personally feel like going after one of the CompTIA certifications is going to be a much safer bet for you. Now, I know you guys can go online through Coursera, purchase the Google IT Support Certification, go through their courses. They have five different courses. I'm gonna read them off the screen here. They have Technical Support Fundamentals. We have the Bits and Bytes of Computer Networking, Operating Systems and You, Becoming a Power User, System Administration and IT Infrastructure Services, and IT Security, Defense Against the Digital Dark Arts. People have taken this in a few months time, and I believe I saw something that it was like $49 a month. Don't quote me on that 100% but you can get financial assistance for it. So there are many great options and uh, things available for you to actually go through this process. And it seems like a very easy, straightforward process. But at the end of the day, I still feel like your money is best served going for CompTF. If you're just looking to get into the field, this could help you, but it's not on par. It's not to the level that CompTIA is as far as entry level certifications go. I know you guys hear me talk about CompTIA all the time. I'm a big fan of theirs and what they're doing over there, especially when it comes to entry level IT work. And nobody has really met the standard and met you know, the popularity uh, that CompTIA has with entry level work and certifications. So I hope this video helps you guys. Uh, if you're going down this process right now, you can still do it. I'm not saying to avoid it completely, if you get financial assistance through it or you get a free voucher or something to go through this process, it can be helpful for you. It's just not the best route that you can take. So if you guys have any other comments, questions, feedback that you want to provide below in the comments below, I greatly do appreciate that. And of course, as always, take it easy.